Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where serious researchers come for news, insights, and commentary about the research field that impacts them both inside and outside their company. On RBR Today, Thinkvine's Matt Nitzberg has his say about what Donald Trump's indifference towards data in his campaign is doing to his campaign, followed by attracting gir girls to the coding field. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by 2020 Research, helping you do better research. 2020 Research provides the most comprehensive array of research services and technology, supporting at three facilities everything from face-to-face -face research to digital chats, online discussions, and streaming interviews through their innovative technology platforms. Plus, it's all backed by some of the best, most experienced support personnel in the research realm. We'll share a link with you for free information that could boost the effectiveness of your online discussion research at the end of today's report. Speaking of at the end, at the end of last week we discussed the Trump for President campaigns, and I really should say Donald Trump's rather half-hearted half feelings about the use of data to strengthen his election prospects. Thinkvine Chief Growth Officer Matt Nitzberg opined on MartechAdvisor.com about Trump's obvious problems that very likely have been caused by his data aversion. But rather than dote on a lot of negatives, Nitzberg blogged about why Trump still could and should change his data behavior. He called Trump's messaging polarizing by design and not sufficiently aspirational to win needed electoral votes. Quote, for Trump, not relying on data creates risks, says Nitzberg. We've seen Trump change his message frequently, and so it might just be braggadocio for him to announce that he doesn't care about data that could tell him which messages work and which fall flat. Nitzberg continued, Trump doesn't know when he is preaching to the choir, when he has an opportunity to convert. He doesn't know which issues are turning voters off and where he has opportunities to expand his base. Nitzberg charges that Trump relies on spray and pray messaging, which eschews targeting and he says wastes Trump's campaign budget. Nitzberg added that to Trump, who sees himself as the celebrity of celebrities, quote, it doesn't seem as sexy to rely on data as it does on his own genius. Next, everyone that we know knows that we are intensely interested in ways of trying to bring the youth of America into the research field. And today we wanted to pass on Google's Made With Code website, which has just posted a video that highlights women who are using code in their lives to make a difference. Google Project Marketing Manager Lauren Baum told the author of a U.S. News and World Report article, Amy Gallad, that fewer than 1% of female U.S. high school students are interested in majoring in computer science when they get to college. And she also laid out some very interesting work possibilities that are being overlooked. In 2020, Baum said over one million unfilled computer science jobs will be out there because of a lack of qualified applicants. Baum further explained that Google's goal is to have girls have find reasons to be interested in coding, as well as to have them take their first step towards becoming coders by doing coding projects that are tied to their particular interests. Right now, Google's Baum said girls simply don't think that coding is cool. They don't see role models doing coding, and they don't connect it with things that interest them. Back in 2014, Google launched its Made with Code website to inspire girls to learn how to code and to expose them to coding as a means of achieving their professional aspirations. Baum said that, quote, the whole purpose and spirit of Made with Code and the website is to show girls that the things that they already love are made with code, end of quote. If his subject of, is of interest to you, and I know many of you out there are as interested in this field as I am, we are linking to the original story. Subscribers will see it in their email. The rest of you will find it in the description box underneath today's video. 
That is your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored today and this week by 2020 Research, helping you to do better research. 2020 Research provides the most comprehensive array of research services and technology to its clients, supporting at three facilities everything from face-to-face -face research to digital chats, online discussions, and streaming interviews. In other words, if it's innovative and new, you'll find it at 2020 Research. There are innovative technology platforms are all designed to deliver what you need. Plus, they back it all with some of the best, most experienced support in the research field. And while we're at it, we recommend that you download a specially prepared 2020 white paper that goes into the best practices that are showing up in online discussions. This is not your run-of-the-mill new ideas, but those that have been based on advanced analytic study of this research technique. Conclusions about time of day, day or week, proper length, sample size, and the hammock effect are included, and I think a lot of this information may be very surprising to you. Again, you can look for this link in the email to subscribers and in the description box. We hope you have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.